All right, guys, what's up? Kraz18 here. And today, um, we have some info on the team of the year. Um, this year's NHL 15 team of the year for Hutt. Um, that's on the EA f uh, Sports Forum NHL, so this is official. Um, so it, it's written by a moderator or, like, uh, someone who works there, so it's official. Um, there's going to be three team of the years this year. There's the Hutt Defensive Team of the Year that's chosen by EA, the Hutt Offensive Team of the Year that's chosen by EA, and then there's the Hutt Community Team of the Year chosen by the community as the title suggests. Um, the team of the year, uh, this team of the year will be live, it says from March 25th to April 1st. So that's a week. So I guess we could assume that the team of the year is gonna be, uh, av gonna be available around March 25th. The other team of the years might be before or after, they still haven't stated that. So we could guess that's gonna be around there. Um, the rules to the to the um, the Hut Community Team of the Year is that the Team of the Year determined by the Hut Community. Obviously, there's gonna be a vote, like suggestions and stuff. Um, it's gonna be the players that the best players that have not got a Team of the Week card yet this year. So, for example, um, I have a guy on my team right now, Patrietti. He's having a really good season with the Habs in the NHL. I think he has uh, around 50 some points, leading the league in plus minus, uh, and a lot of goals, 30 goals I think right now as of this video. So. He doesn't have a team of the week card, so he would be eligible. But someone like, let's say, pick someone, um, Subban, who's having a really good year, um, all that. But he has a team of the week card, so he will not be eligible for the Hut Community Team of the Year. He will be eligible for the Offensive Team of the Year or the Defensive one, whatever one they decide to put him on, which I'm pretty sure he will be in the uh, that Team of the Year. But... Um, so it, it doesn't matter if they have any other type of special card but a team of the week card. So if, if uh, I'm not sure if Markov has a team of the week card, but let's say he doesn't, but he has a milestone as you can clearly see right here. So he could, he's still eligible for the Hutt community team of the year. Um, Cause he does not have a team of the week card, which again, I'm not sure if he does or does not, but so like if they have a milestone card, player of the game, Movember, um, all-star game or any card like that, um, they could still be eligible as long as they don't have a team of the week card. Um, all players must have a base item in hockey ultimate team. Obviously, you can't so like uh, Johnny Goudreau. He doesn't have a base item, so he won't be able to be part of the team of the year, unfortunately. And then um, if the player is chosen for the community team of the year, that player is still eligible for a future team of the year. So... I um so if Patch already gets a team of the year card, he could also be part of the offensive team of the year or defensive because he's actually really good defensively, which a lot of people don't know. If you don't watch the Habs, like like um, if you're not a, a avid Habs fan, um how the how the roster is gonna look? Uh, I'm guessing for every for every one, the first three lines. Oh wait, no, no, the first two lines are best offensive performers. NHL players, forward line three is best defensive performers NHL player. And then forward line four is best performers offensive or defensive, not NHL players. I think actually this lineup, this uh, line setup they have here is just for the Hut Community Team of the Year. And I'm guessing the other one will just be the first three lines will be NHL players and the last line will be um, non-NHL players like they've been doing all year basically for Team of the Week. And then defer to def defense is same thing. This is for the Hot Community Team of the Year. Um, defensive line one is um, offensive performers. Defensive line two is uh, defensive performers. And then defensive line three is uh, best performers from non-NHL uh, teams. And then the goalie one is NHL player only, and goalie two is non-NHL player only. So this is a pretty cool twist. Um that they're doing they're letting us choose one of the team of the years there's going to be three that's pretty cool i'm guessing the hut community team there's going to come first actually because i just read that um it says it says if a player chosen for the community team of the year that player is still eligible for a future team of the year so i'm guessing that one's gonna be first and the other two are gonna be second so so it'll probably be around march 25th that team of the year's launch but this is actually pretty cool news that there's three team of the years this year. Um, they're actually interacting more with their cus uh, cons customers, 
who play the game and there's it's actually really cool that some people's favorite players who haven't got a boost all year finally are going to get a good real boost too so that's that's always good to look forward to so yeah um i'll put the link to this to this thread because it's on the ea forums in the description and uh, let me know what you guys think about the team of the year and i'll see you guys next time peace